firefighters have gained the upper hand over two bushfires that broke out north and south of the city yesterday. Jess Kiley is in Asheville this morning. Jess, how's it looking there? That's right, Tim. Uh, I'm here in Ashfield and at this stage, it's still an adv advice warning, um, but we're just starting to see as the sun comes up, there's uh, smoulders of smoke coming up around the area that is all burnt out. And I was talking to a volunteer firefighter just moments ago and he was telling me that they're not quite in the clear and that they have to keep coming back every hour to check that out. Now, um, as we saw yesterday, the fire came incredibly close to houses uh, on Hardy Road and I'm here right right now with one of those residents um, and Vaughan Ferguson tell us what happened yesterday. Um, when we actually heard about the fire we, uh, we rushed, uh, rushed over and um, uh, I went up on the roof there and uh, my wife was down the bottom here uh, uh, with the hoses and uh, we could actually see the, uh, the fire was actually heading straight towards the house, the little tree behind us and, and these big trees were uh, fully engulfed in flames. Uh, and we could see that the, uh, the flames were starting to reach the other trees on the other side and the properties. I could see uh, smoke and flames uh, through uh, the trees onto the neighbouring properties. Uh, the embers were over, over the entire property and uh, they, was, they were starting to light up on the front of the uh, uh, properties as well. Uh, and uh, the neighbours, fortunately, from all around, uh, you know, came over and helped us uh, and it was really good to see the community spirit. Uh, when it really came to it. Absolutely. Now, was there ever a stage that you thought that your house would uh, be lost? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, was, it was pretty scary because, uh, like I said, the, the smoke was so thick that we could hardly see what was happening. And uh, we knew that the, the, the trees along the side of the property could uh, catch a light at any time and, the, and, and it could head straight over for the properties. Uh, it was very, very scary. Yeah. And, and as we've heard this morning, Vaughan, uh, DFES has confirmed that it was deliberately lit, um, obviously coming so close to your house. How does that make you feel? Well, basically, uh, yeah, we had heard rumours that a couple of little kids had uh, lit the fires. It wasn't a very nice feeling, uh, unfortunately, and uh, I certainly hope that the, uh, this morning when these kids uh, see this, uh, you know, uh, the results of their actions, uh, you know, they'll take heed, and I hope the parents, if they do find out about these kids, uh, have a serious chat to them and, uh, and explain to them the consequences of and the, the, the people's lives that they put in danger when they, when they do something like this. OK, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. And Tim, unfortunately, yesterday wasn't the, uh, there were two separate fires that were have confirmed to be deliberately lit. There was a second one down south in success, uh, and it is also at an advice level, which is a good thing. Um, but it was sad to see uh, that they have both been deliberately lit, Tim. And yet, not a great surprise, Jess. Thank you.